today we're going to describe and calculate how the bending of a beam based on the modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity is a way to describe the resistance to deformation, in this case of a beam, uh, in regards to its material. So in this case, we're comparing Douglas fir, where Christmas trees are, versus ABS plastic. You can see that the top beam here, made of ABS plastic, bends significantly more than the Douglas fir under the same amount of force at its center. And again, it's because of its material differences. So let's now go ahead and calculate uh, something like this uh, using modulus of elasticity. So here is the formula for the amount of bending that takes place for a horizontal beam. And we're going to use, again, a 2 by 4 or oriented horizontally like this. And here is how the beam is uh, placed and how the force is applied in the middle of the beam. So here is the formula for modulus of elasticity. Uh, here is the bending amount of deformation, the force applied in the middle of the beam, the length of the beam in inches, divided by 48 times the modulus of elasticity times the moment of inertia. Again, it's a 2 by 4 beam, 8 feet long that you get at a typical hardware store, which is 96 inches, force of 500 pounds. A 2 by 4 made of pine has a approximately a 1.9 million PSI modules of elasticity. And as a moment of inertia in this orientation of 0.98, uh, this is how you would find that moment of inertia. Uh, you would take the base times the height cubed, divide by 12. So if we put the base as 3.5 inches, and then we multiply it by the height, 1.5 inches but cube it, and then divide by 12, we get 0.98 inches to the fourth. All right, so now let's plug and chug with our first our force of 500 pounds. Force. We're going to cube the length, 96 inches long, divided by 48 times the modulus of elasticity, which is 19000, 1.9 million pounds per square inch, multiplied lastly by the moment of inertia, 0.98 inches to the fourth. And if you do that, uh, you get a bending deformation of 4.95 inches. Thank you for listening.